Hello guys, welcome to the 10th lecture of our Gemini Codices course and this is going to be a very important lecture because in this lecture we will talk about the MCP, okay? So let's understand the outline of this lecture that what we are going to be discussing. The first thing is Gemini CLI and we will do the MCP integration in it. So I will talk about like what are things we are going to do in this. Then what is MCP? Then I will talk about the benefits that we get with MCP and what happens in the general things without MCP, okay? Then we'll talk about the use cases in this lesson and how we're going to leverage MCP for the things that we have been building so far. Then we'll talk about getting the GitHub path. It's basically a personal access token from the GitHub. And what we're going to eventually be doing with that token is that so that we can use uh, Gemini CLI to co connect with the MCP and then make some some requests. So for that, we need this GitHub path token or personal access token. Then we'll do this configuring of the MCP in the Gemini CLI. We'll verify that the integration of MCP in Gemini CLI is complete or not. We'll also use the GitHub MCP tool, right? So I haven't talked about GitHub or whatever MCP is, but let's just go through the outline first and we'll talk about what MCP means, okay? Then I'll uh, give you some uh, uh, things to practice so that you can also try more on your side as MCP is one of the very trendy topics today in coding world. Okay, and then we'll conclude with some uh, inform some ideas around like how MCP has been influencing the AI workflows and the things we do with LLMs and all those kinds of stuff. Okay, so first thing is let's talk about uh, Gemini CLI and the MCP integration, what we're gonna do. So until now, what we have been doing is the, our Gemini CLI worked with local files and commands, right? So we have been doing some uh, uh, asking Gemini CLI to hey uh, set up my Flask application or let's create CRUD APIs for my uh, for my expense tracker application okay so for this we have been working around the local files only by integrating with github through MCP MCP is basically a model context protocol that is what it stems for stands for by integrating with github through MCP Gemini becomes more than a local assistant and actually it becomes a cloud collaborator. Right now, what we have been seeing is the Gemini CLI worked with local files and commands. Okay, What we'll see that through the power of MCP, the Gemini CLI, it is not like a local assistant, but it is more like a cloud collaborator. It has, It is kind of able to communicate with those external services and different kinds of data sources that are there and providing us more structured output of those services and consuming those services. What does it mean? Let's go through this now. Okay, now let's talk about what MCP is. MCP, the first thing it is stands for, uh, it stands for model context protocol. Okay, basically it's nothing but a standard format that lets these AI agents talk to external services clearly and consistently. Okay, what I mean by that is basically it's kind of a protocol that AI agents kind of adhere to, okay? These AI agents using this standard format or protocol, they talk to external services. They can still talk to external services without this MCP also. But the data they get out of it is kind of very unstructured or it's not very clear. But MCP tells that, hey, I am a GitHub MCP. I am something else MCP, okay? They connect with this MCP and they provide them very specific kind of instructions or basically very specific kind of format or protocol so that they talk to them, the agents talk to them and they talk it in a very clear and consistent way. Basically, it's nothing but providing more and more context to the LLMs with the external services, okay? End of the day, they, the output that comes out of this by connecting with this MCP is more predictable and more structured kind of a data. And it is efficient in nature. Otherwise, what would happen is there is like a bunch of raw text data around the world. And we tell our uh, agent to kind of fetch me some information and provide in something structured output. It has to do a lot of processing. But this MCP kind of sits between our agents and then they, that is MCP. Uh, for example, that gets GitHub MCP is there, right? So my AI agent can leverage this GitHub MCP to kind of fetch repositories, are uh, uh, tagging around a particular term, right? So this is how you can think about it. Okay, so let's go through the uh, small uh, architecture about, uh, I'll talk about with MCP and what, without MCP, what happens now. Okay, so this is my CLI and I have my uh, MCP GitHub server. So this is Gemini CLI is kind of now have that connection or have this uh, GitHub MCP server as a tool inside it, okay? Now let's talk about uh, is uh, from this architecture this uh, you will it will be very clear to you what happens with mcp 
okay so what we do is we generally give our natural language prompts in gemini cli okay the first time when we load the gemini cli so basically let's think of it like that that it reads config from some file okay after reading the config file it loads those those mcp servers right now we didn't have any mcp servers so it didn't load anything but let's say we provided some uh, 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 instructions to gemini cli some configuration to gemini cli so that it can have the github mcp server now what does it mean okay so it, it has loaded those mcp servers and in our case only one uh, mcp server will integrate which is the github mcp server okay now this mcp server think about it like a client server format okay this is like a client server format now what happens is i can just give them uh, some idea some uh, prompt around hey search for repositories containing expense tracker as it as a term in their uh, title okay so what it will do that this that, that github mcp server is very specific around github apis okay now when i gave that request to the github mcp server from my gemini cli it will ask that github mcp server to give me those uh, uh, repositories so it, that mcp server can have multiple prop protocol like uh, at search repositories right at search repos so this is one this is kind of a one tool from um, um, github mcp server that we have in hand in the gemini cli now think about this right if this was not there okay if this was not there we this was not there and we just said gemini cli to hey uh, fetch all the repositories from github and uh, tell me like what all repositories contain expense tracker so difficult it is right because there's abundance of raw data it has to figure out like what uh, uh, parsing it has to do what uh, web based scrapping it has to do it becomes very random but here we are kind of providing a very specific context that okay there is a github uh, mcp server you ask them you use their tool search repos and that kind of gives us you a structured output in the form of a json that we can consume easily now you are getting the idea of like what mcp is okay and then yeah so this mcp server using our github uh, token can make all these requests to the github repos or maybe create an issue uh, and one example i would, would like to give you which you can also try here so for example let's say there are 100 of expense projects in expense tracker projects in github which we have built earlier also okay now what i want is hey uh, uh, github mcp server search for all the projects in github that has expense tracker title in it or basically text in it and figure out the features that i have built and the features they have compare those features and figure out a way uh, or basically tell me what features i can now make more in my project right so you got some ideas around uh, the project that you are building uh, and what projects have already built around these things and then you can think about like hey these are the things i can add more to my project so this is a very simple way to get uh, innovative things that you can build in your project as well so this is something that you can try and let's talk about the use cases in this lesson what we'll do we'll configure gemini cli to connect with the official github mcp server it basically unlocks this automation directly with github repository so this is the power that we are unlocking by integrating the mcp github server with my gemini cli okay so let's now enough theory what are you going to go we are going to go to github and we are going to go get this personal access token which is needed and uh, let's go to uh, github and uh, i'll go to uh, here all you have to do is go to your profile then go to settings then on the left go at the below go to developer settings then go to personal access tokens go to classic generate new token you can choose any one of them Try, choose the classic one because uh, what it does is it allows us to kind of uh, it allows us to kind of choose those permissions at those point of time okay so let me enter this code once okay so let me enter the code i will enter it and let's click on verify and we can name this token so i'll just say gemini uh, cli mcp demo right and you can set the expiration as well so 30 days from now 20th october is fine i'll delete this token anyway so that you do not copy and compromise my token 
and in scope you can provide all these permissions i only need to provide this repo right access commit status access deployment status access public repositories and access repository invitation read and write security events that's it okay if you need the permissions you can read more about this and uh, uh, take or maybe uh, add more permissions to your token and then when you generate this token this token basically has all these scopes inside the token okay so you can make all these requests as well okay so let me generate the token and let's copy this token so now we have the token with us so let me just uh, paste somewhere so i'll paste it in my terminal okay so fine and now let's go back to our notes and now what we have to do we have to configure mcp and gemini cli okay so this is the folder that is created uh, let me open a new terminal uh, let's go to cd dot gemini so whenever gemini was installed right and we started configuring or started doing some things on gemini it created actually this folder at your home directory okay and inside this there are multiple files one of them is very important is a settings dot json okay and inside this settings json you can provide this uh, what do you call you can provide this mcp servers kind of a config okay inside this mcp servers you can add your servers as you want let me just delete it for a moment and let me tell you how i got that so what i'll do is delete delete delete, delete. okay so this is the one and let's delete this as well okay so this is the file that i have right now okay inside my settings so json this is the only thing i have then basically i looked at the internet and here i found a series where uh, this guy is kind of integrating the mcp servers like that so let me copy this okay and let me go back and open my file again and inside this now i can uh, enter those mcp servers configuration so let me paste it here so this is basically that uh, mcp server url okay this is the mcp server url and here you have to provide your github pad token so let me go there and let me copy this token and paste it here and now let me save this file now now what has happened is inside that uh, uh, what we have done is basically we have configured our gemini cli with mcp okay one of the mcp servers you can add more servers inside that mcp servers object now if i do gemini if i write gemini and press enter what is going to do it is going to look at the dot gemini settings dot json file and see that hey do you have any mcp servers earlier we didn't have so now we have to it will try to connect to the that uh, uh, github mcp server and what will happen is basically your uh, cli ai assistant or your ai agent has now that github mcp server as a tool inside it okay so let me press enter and let's see if it actually does that see it's writing using one mcp server earlier it was not there so basically our connection is successful with that mcp server okay so now that we have done this let's go back to our nodes we have verified the integration we can use slash mcp this is one of our command tool mcp and we can write list to list all the mcp servers that we have and now see that these are the things these are the tools that we have access to this is what i wanted to say right if my ai agent knows that hey doing uh, using this tool can directly do something instead of thinking about it basically if this mcp was not available just saying to ai agent hey go to this github repo and put some comment there it will take it a lot of unstructured data to process and finally do the thing that i'm asking but here this mcp server is kind of telling that hey i am a specific protocol or format for this github mcp server you have all these tools available so you can utilize these tools to do that those things right so now the things have become very more specific my uh, ai agent has gone from a, someone a very local kind of assistant to a cloud collaborator it has all the power of this external service so this is what i want to talk about okay so now that we have done this and we have verified the integration using the github mcp tool mcp tool directly interacts with githubs api now that the connection is done 
We are going to say we are going to use the GitHub MCP server using this add GitHub search for repositories about expense tracker. Okay, so let me do that. So this is the MCP server we have and we are going to say add GitHub search for repositories that has I think the text that has repositories search for repositories about expense tracker. Let's see what it does for us and what this command get what this prompt actually get converted to let's see that as well <coughs> see so it is you're going to use this github mcp server and the tool it is going to use is search repositories okay so my prompt has kind of identified that which mcp server it wants to use and basically which tool of that mcp server it wants to use right so let me allow once and let's see and it has uh, gotten me some response right so see this these are some of the repositories i i found over one lakh repositories here are the top 30 based on relevance now see this is so important right so data that it has gotten back to us in this structured format is so important we can just go there and see like hey what is this why why does it have 417 stars what are the interesting features that it has built maybe we can create something out of it like hey find the interesting features that this repository has and create issues in my project so that i can later attend it to and build my project that exciting right so this is how those uh, overall things now coming into picture the multi-step workflow is coming into picture Okay, so I'm not going to do that. You guys can definitely try that thing. Now let's go back to our notes and for practice, definitely try that task that I just asked you. And in conclusion, I just want to say this MCP extends our Gemini CLI beyond the local development that we have been doing. And it's kind of making use of those all these cloud services and giving us output in a way, our structured output in a way that we can make use of and kind of extending my power to do multiple things as a true AI collaborator, uh, get fetching data from APIs and all those things and then taking decisions based on that. Okay, so that is it for this video. Very interesting video what MCP is and uh, um, the impact that it can have on our AI agents. And uh, let we'll talk about this more, uh, more about MCP in a later course maybe. Now this was just enough for this to give you some introduction on MCP on how does it work. We'll later talk about more uh, uh, in a different course actually. Okay, that's it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.